Hello, and how are you today? Continuing on with the new and fired brass series, the revised edition, we're going to go over uniforming your primer pockets and deburring your flash holes. So this will be interesting, and if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell for all notifications. All right, let's get on with this. All right, we're going to start out with uh, uniforming the flash holes. Now, sometimes when brass is made, I wouldn't say so much this Lupua brass that I use, but they either punch out the hole or they drill it or however they do it. Sometimes you'll get a little burr on the inside of your flash hole. That's what this tool here, k and Flash Hole Uniformer, is for. It's got a tip on it that is beveled, and there's this spring that you adjust to push your bullet up onto to keep it centered. It's a very, very simple, this is one of the simplest processes of all, and you only have to do it once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run off a couple and then I will show you the difference. I can get my bore scope down in there and try to get a picture of what they look like before and after. So we're going to use my little homemade modified machine here. And you'll feel the tip. And you'll feel it cutting and then you'll feel it stop. And there's your brass that comes out. So again, what we're trying to do in my brain is get everything the same. I didn't realize how much I was getting in front of the camera here. Let me run off a couple more. You could actually put your thumb on the back of it because the point doesn't come out that far. So that's all there is to it. And can you see all these brass shavings here? So those are all the brass shavings you get. Let me get everything set up. I'll be back with you and I'll show you the before and after. Okay, here I got my bore scope down here now. And this is on before. Now you can see if you look around the right, see that little dip down below? Means that whatever punch or drill they used, that is uneven. So that's the way they look from the factory. Although that's a big hole there, but the dispersion of the primer igniting could be different, could spread around different. So now let's take a look at one that has been done with the K&M tool. And if I get this centered right there, you can see now. Look at that nice cut all the way around. If I can see it, if I turn this, it looks like it's bigger on the right than the left. And if I do that, it looks like it's bigger on the left than the right. I'm trying to get it centered in here just perfect. I guess there you go. So look at the difference. Look, at, look how it leaves that nice bevel all the way around. Come on, Dean, try to get it even. This is hard to do. There you go. So that's what you get. All right, in this section, what we're going to be doing is using the primer correction pocket tool to get the depth of our primer pockets here all the same. So 
The tools involved here, which are all on my website, hitthexreloads.com, under the equipment tab. So this gauge here first that I have is made by Primal Rights. It's called the Primeware Digital Gauge. So first thing we have to do with this is we have to zero it. Now this collar on top, these are different collars for different size brass. So I'll just take a gauge block, put it on there, and hit the zero. Okay, we're zero. As it shows on this companion app, it'll show right on your phone. Then we'll screw this back on. And for doing this process, you really need something to hold onto the shell because you don't want it wobbling around. You want to keep it as straight as possible going into this cutter, as straight as possible. So, A company called fclassproducts.com they make these collars which are for their auto dot machine for when you're neck turning inside and outside these are made for that machine and they work great for this purpose so you would just put your brass in there just give it a little knock it's in there now we'll measure this so we're at point one two 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 right. now this is going to get a little noisy here so what you do is you turn this on and you guide your brass on the best that you can, nice and straight, and just push on it, not too hard, you know, not too soft, but not too hard, and let it go around a few times and clean out the brass. Then do it again, clean out the brass, and do it again until it's not cutting anymore, then take a measurement. So let's see where we're at right now. Let's do this one. We were at 1.222. I believe I want to get to point 0.1225. So we're going to put it on for the first time. Let it cut. Take it off. Dump out the brass. You see the shavings coming off there? I also keep a brush and just wipe this every once in a while. Okay, there's still brass coming off. Okay, that should be good. Let's take a measurement where we're at now. We're at one, two, two, three. Now I know that's not enough yet. So there, maybe there's a shaving caught in here, whatever, but we'll go again. <laughs> Clean it out. Okay, 1224.12224. That is good for me. I will let that pass. So let's move on to another one. I know this seems like long, tedious work, but you only have to do it once, only on your new brass. And it's very important to do it because you got to get them primers seated right. See where we're at. There we go. Point one two 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 five. That's the number I'm shooting for. Or a thousandths on either side. I mean, a ten thousandths on either side is good. We'll just knock this out. Keep your blade clean. And I know this is a long process. I've got two hundred pieces of brass to do here, so obviously. I don't want you to sit here and watch it all, but this only has to be done once. It's time consuming. I wish I could.
1223. Let me give that another swipe. Yeah, I could feel it cut a little more and I see some more breasts there, yeah. You can kind of feel it cutting. <coughs> okay, so we're at one, two, two, four. That's great. So that's how that works. So this is the Lyman case prep machine out of its case, um, mounted vertically. Right, this is just my iPhone, but that's the app for this Primal Right Primeware gauge. This is the nice, cleanly cut primer pocket. In these first four or three I did right there, all within one ten thousandths of each other, which is perfectly acceptable. All right, see you in the next section.